What's going on guys, World Watch else back again with another video for you guys. Now in this video, I'll be giving you the three main talking points from yesterday's game where Chelsea drew 2-2. This is something new that I'll be bringing on this channel. The three main talking points, either on the same day as a result or the day after. So obviously today is the day after. And I'm hoping you guys like this type of content. If you do, please do smash the like button. Give me these 200 likes. If you're new here, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay with you more watch else. Please comment your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. So the first main talking point from the game that I want to speak about is a miscommunication between the midfielders and the defenders. Now what I'm talking about is when we pick up the ball from midfield and we try to drive into the final third of the opposition, um, you know, most passes, they look brilliant. We're doing a lot of combination passes, supporting runs. It looks brilliant, but when, sometimes not everything can be perfect. Interceptions, misplaced passes, the position isn't perfect. And when the opposition get the ball from these passes, we have no midfield, simply because all of them have attacked. All of them. We have no one you know in our just in front of our defense and this is something that i'm really really worried about because a lot of people are saying it's pre-season and all this stuff yes it is pre-season but now pre-season has finished and we're still seeing the same thing so why hasn't it changed why is there a huge gap between the midfield and the defense i do not understand these players in midfield cannot track back every single time the opposition are scoring most of the goals like this because we have no one in front of the defence. So when they attack the defence, they've got they've got like two on two or three on two, and they're able to pick out a pass, a through ball, and score. We've seen it time and time again. Why have we not picked this up? I'm sure Lampard and Jody Morris will be looking at this now saying we need to fix this up. And it is so important that Kante definitely comes back. This guy he'll be tracking back, picking up the pieces and stuff like that, but he cannot do it by himself. I'm really worried about this because most likely we'll be playing a 4-2-3-1. So Kante in midfield in the pivotal role with probably Giorgino Kovacic. Yeah, obviously my preferred one is Giorgino because obviously he picks up the ball from deep and makes chances happen. However, Kovacic is a lot more... He goes in a lot more. He shows a lot more fight. Uh, the passion is there. He's good on the ball. He can dribble. Um, he can close off a game. and Which is why I might see him playing in a big game uh, rather than Giorgino. So if we're away against United or away against Liverpool or City, I see obviously helping out Kante more than Giorgino playing. Now, obviously I want Giorgino to play, but we could see a 4-3-3 as well. We do not know Lampard's best position, um, best formation. A lot of people will be saying, yeah, we need to play 4-3-3 simply because we want to play these guys. But what about Barkley? What about Mason Mount? What about Loftus Cheek when he comes back? This is something that we really have to look at properly because I've seen it through every single preseason this you know so far and I'm really worried that is the main worry for me the space between the midfield and uh, the defense shouldn't the defense come a bit more closer like can, can't they come up uh, come up a bit more maybe but I think when Kante comes back fully fit and he plays he'll be sticking back a little bit I'm not saying that he won't be attacking but I think he'll stay a bit a bit back just to help out and make sure the defense has a bit cover inside so let me know your thoughts on that first of all um, the next thing I'm talk about is the combination of defenders that we have there is no leadership there's no you know like proper leader that says do this do that you know John Terry when we, I'm not saying these guys are anywhere near John Terry and they should be like him and you know exactly like him but just some attributes show some quality in that whether it's Davalouz and Zuma, Davalouz and Christensen, Christensen and Zuma, we don't know who's the best simply because when you look at set pieces, the positioning worries me. They lose their man, they don't know where to stand. What is going on? What have you been training right now? Offensively, everything is fine. Like, I've been saying it. Like, combination passes, support and runs, press. Everything is there. There are positives from Lampard so far, but the negatives for me is defensively. This, the first thing I said between the midfield and the defenders, and now the set pieces. The defenders, I do not know the best combination. For me, I want Rudiger and Zuma. But David Luiz, I understand why guys are saying that he's the best defender that we have right now, simply because he's been here for many years, he's got a lot of experience, he understands how it is. 
And yes, I do see a bit of leadership from him, but I need him to step up. And I expect him to start because obviously him and Lampard have gone back a long time, just like Azpi. Like these guys will be starting because of experience and you know they've been playing for many, many years and Lampard will want to make sure that he gets off to the best start. If I had a choice, of course, Reese James would be coming back in, you know, Hudson Odell will be taking Williams' spot and stuff like that. But I do see Davo Luiz starting, I do see Asby keeping his position for a bit, uh, even when Reese James comes back. But it is very important that we find out our best two central defenders and make sure that at least Davo Luiz has to show where people need to stand, what people need to do. We need to see leadership from the defence. It is so, so important. Uh, that is most of the notes that I've made on this. The final point uh, that I want to talk about is when we play from the back. Now, obviously, I've been saying Georgina comes very deep, picks up the ball, um, you know, passes it to the right back, the centre back, or tries to pass to the right wing. Um, and it does come off many times and it looks brilliant. It looks fantastic. However, some of the players that we have, you know, Aspi, Pedro, the right side mainly for me, I'm not too confident on that right now. So in pass to Aspi, you know, we do have to admit like the positioning of the other players for Aspi to pass that isn't perfect either. However, I'm just not fully confident on the ball with Pedro and Aspi. I don't know if they're gonna run sideways or backwards or pass back to the Ke uh, pass back to Kepa, pass the defender. The position that I've seen so far, we're making mistakes. Yeah, when we try to pass through the back to the middle, back to the side, and then back to goal, and then try and make something happen, it just hasn't gone right. We've made mistakes. Oppositions have picked up the pass. They've got all that space in the middle because we've taken out all the midfielders of Kovacic and Georgina in the middle, and they make chances happen. Now, obviously, under the Conte days, what we used to do is we used to boot the ball away. We used to hoof the ball away. And we're talking about strikers that can link up well. Tammy Abraham's link up play isn't perfect. We have Giroud there who can do definitely very good with link up. But we don't have his work ethic, his pace, uh, his finishing like Michi. What I want to say is we have three different types of strikers. Tammy, hard working, Giroud, link up play and Michi, finishing. Now if you put all three of them together, imagine what kind of striker we would have. Right now, I do not know our best striker. So when we hoof the ball, yeah, you can say Jude can do that well. But when we try to look for space and like look for someone up there, he won't be there. It's as simple as that. So I'm very worried in terms of the right side. I think if Emerson plays, he's very good on the ball. Don't get me wrong, Emerson can play on the ball. Same with David Luiz and Kovacic. These guys are very confident on the ball. But on the right side, Pedro, Azpi, I'm not so sure. Azpi is declining a little bit for me, man. I, I don't want to show... A lot of negativity around him because you know he is definitely a warrior. He's given us 100% every single year. He's played centre back, he's played left back, he's played right back. He deserves the most respect right now. But if Reece James comes back and he shows why he's capable of like offensively the crosses, because as these crosses, don't get me wrong, it's not perfect. But let's get back to the main point. Playing from the back, yeah. Georgino tries to open it up. Now we've seen it good moments where they've passed it in triangles so the centre back Georgino right back and then Kovacic picks up the ball from the halfway line and gives it to Pulisic and Pulisic scores like we see good moments but in this in the Premier League it is different the quality of the teams are top notch when we talk about Premier League being the best uh, the league the best league out of all leagues there's a reason because average teams you know I was going to say Wolves but Wolves on the rise Everton Leicester these teams can actually put you on pressure and punish you if you make a mistake. So I'm very wary that we need Reece James back. And on the right, maybe play Pulisic if you're going to play Hudson Doyle and Will on the left. The left side for me is fine, but the right side I'm very worried about. Uh, that is the most important three things I wanted to speak about from uh, the game. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if it's not as clear. Um, you know precise and everything this is something new I'm trying and I'll be honest I do not know how to set the timer on this camera I can do it for photos but I can't do it for videos I do not know why I've been searching for the last hour which is why I was hoping to do this video in daylight I'm doing it in the evening where it's a bit dark got the light on but if you enjoyed this content please do smash the like button I'm gonna do these 200 likes if you're new here subscribe hit the bell notification to stay with you more my channels 
Next video coming up will be about midfielders Ross Barkley against Mason Mount. Make sure you tune into that probably either tomorrow or the next day. Well, watch us, man. I'm out.